Welcome to the online ACR 9000 trainings. This presentation demonstrates commanding basic motion with the ACR 9000, how to write simple programs, and how to use ACR views, tools, and status panels to troubleshoot programs. Let's get started. AcroBasic is the programming language used by the controller for PROG programs. I'll cover the more common commands used, making basic motion, using I.O., flags and parameters, and ACR views software tools. The ACR and ARIES controller allows four different types of motion. Single axis moves are done with the jog. These can be incremental or absolute distance commands or continuous velocity moves. Interpolated or coordinated moves uses the master axis profiling and allows multi-axis moves. Gearing and caming can also be programmed but will be covered in the advanced motion training. The first set of commands are the drive commands. This allows to enable, disable, and reset of each axis. With our EPL demo, if both X and Y are attached to PROG0 from our standard configuration, from the PROG0 prompt, you can enable the drives from ACR View's terminal window by doing drive on X space Y. The X and Y are aliases for axis 0 and axis 1 and are only recognized by PROG0. At the sys prompt or any other program prompt, you can enable with drive on space axis 0 space axis 1. Most drives have an enable input that must be enabled to power a motor. When the drive on command is set, the axis's enable output turns on enabling the drive. Its polarity of active high or active low is set in the drive configuration in the drive motor screen. Drive off turns off the drive disabling the amplifier. The configuration wizard by default sets the enable drive I.O. bit, which activates these drive enable outputs. When doing a drive on, a REN command is automatically set, setting the commanded position to the actual encoder position. This prevents the possibility for abrupt motion to a distant commanded position. Drive res resets the drive's power stage if it has a reset input and clears drive errors. Okay, so I'm in ACR view with an Aries EPL demo with two Aries PE drives and a 9040 EPL controller. So if I go into the terminal emulator and press enter a couple times, I don't see any response, but down below you'll see that the controller is offline. In this situation, in the project workspace, you'll notice that we're disconnected with the little red X icon, so go ahead and click connect. We're connected to the controller successfully. Then you can go back into the terminal emulator, press enter a couple times. Then we'll go ahead and do an EPLC space on to start the Ethernet PowerLink motion bus. Then we're at the PROG0 prompt, so if we do a drive on X, Y, both drives are enabled. If we want to see this in the software, we can go in the common status panel. You can see we've got two happy green lights there. Let's go ahead and move this over the side. Shake this up a little bit. Hide our buttons. Maybe a little further. So now if we do a drive off X, Y, both will disable. I've enabled the fault output on my axis zero in my configuration wizard, so when the drive is disabled, the fault is on. On the Y axis, I've disabled this. From the sys prompt, I can, if I try to do a drive on X, Y, it'll say unknown command because it doesn't recognize X or Y, but if I do a drive on axis 0, space axis 1, both will enable. Same thing with drive off. And then I can go back into prog 0 and back at the P00 prompt. From the terminal window there are three types of communication prompts. The system prompt can be reached by typing sys, S-Y-S. From the system level, the mem, M-E-M, command displays the amount of free memory in bytes that can be allocated to a program. 
To see a report of the current memory allocations, use the dim dimension command DIM to see what memory has been dimensioned. From the program level, typing MEM, M -E -M, displays the amount of memory available for program, move buffer, variable, and array storage. At the program prompts, which are PROG0 through PROG15, this provides a program interface and you can run the program by typing run or see the program by typing list and also make online edits. You can reach these by typing PROG and then the number and they are displayed as P and then the number. There are also eight PLC programs, PLC0 through PLC7, and they have a prompt too.